Today is April 29, 2001. <coughs> Those who are practiced inside Vipassana meditation, there are 16 kinds of insight knowledge can be attained step by step. That's the first one, the knowledge of defining my and matter. And number two is the knowledge of discerning causes. Number three is the knowledge of comprehension. Number four is knowledge of rise and fall. Number five is knowledge of falling only. Number six, the knowledge of fearfulness. Number seven, the knowledge of faultiness. Number eight, the knowledge of disgusting. Number nine, the knowledge of desire for freedom. Number ten, the knowledge of recomprehension. Re comprehension. Number 11, the knowledge of equanimity about formation. Number 12, the knowledge of conformity. Number 13, the knowledge of changes lineage. Number 14, knowledge of path. Fifteen is knowledge of fruit. The last one, number sixteen, is the knowledge of reviewing or the knowledge of reflection. So who practice inside Vipassana meditation this can be attained step by step up to the sixteen. And when you gain this uh, system stage of knowledge, this means you gain enlightenment. You reach to your spiritual goal. So, <clears throat> I have already talked about the first four inside knowledge. Last week, we talking about the knowledge of rise and fall. And for today, I would like to talk about the knowledge of falling only. In the knowledge of rise and fall, when you contemplate on the meditational objects, you see the arising and disappearing of them. So, whatever you contemplate on, just see arising and disappearing of this mind and matter all the time. And with improvement of practice, we keep continue to practice the med- meditation. And when you reach to this the knowledge of falling, you just notice only the system of mind and matter. It's not rise and fall, just the, the ceasing of mind and matter. The arising of object is no longer apparent. You just see the disappearance. This is the nature of this uh, insight knowledge. It will be clearly known to you that both the arising and both is arising and noting. When you come contemplate on your abdomen, this is the rising 
and denoting my, as the falling, as denoting my, is the awareness immediately as pair, just one after another. So if, if you contemplate on the nostril, the same thing. You can see it's the, the arising. Arising is not. It's no longer appearing, just a vanishing, disappearing. Just a, as your knowledge becomes higher, you just see this the falling only, the disappearing only. The particular feature such as a body, or head, hands, or legs, are no longer apparent to you at that moment. Just the idea that everything is assisting and vanishing just appears to you. You, don't, you cannot feel, where's my body, where's my head, where's my head, at that state. That's by keeping noting, as usual, and you would gain the momentum and know that what you are see a dissolve in broken part. See, maybe feeling or maybe any kind of sensation just uh, dissolve in broken part. You know, what you hear is, is to fade away. And with no continuation between them. Or if it knows that your object is two or three, something like that, it's not keep continuation. It's the uh, from one and another is quite different. And this is seeing things as they truly are. We should see this their true nature. It's not the same one, it's not the same object, same thing, same mind, just different one. Or as the vanishing is so quickly when you see, you will feel it. If or normal. It's not when you sit in meditation, when you walk, right, you walk in meditation, or it's normal term, you know, when you go somewhere, you will feel that your eyesight is getting poor or giddy. Oh, what, what happened to my eye? You see something, it's not clear, you know, it's not clear. You feel that your Eyesight is getting poor or giddy. This uh, because it's the, the result that you do not see the feature of form. You know, some, if you look at outside, you know, you see all the houses, all the trees. Oh. It's not like the before. You cannot see as the, as the form. You have the feeling that. At this stage of knowledge, your attention is fixed on the cessation. It's not the rising, just the cessation, a both object of meditation and contemplating mind are found passing away one after another. For example, when we contemplate on our abdomen, we see, uh, let's see. For the beginning, we see, we try to <coughs> observe our mind on this, uh, the movement of your abdomen since the beginning, the middle, the end. When you reach to this, uh, the knowledge of falling only, you just see rising, you just, just see the, the system of this object. 
this falling, just see it disappearing, disappearing, disappearing. As far as the arising, it's no longer a spirit. By continuously practicing, you will come to know the truth of continuous dissolution that truly is fearful. And they say, oh, what I see every moment is uh, disappearing, disappearing. You feel as the fearful. And in this stage of time, you seem no longer bright and spirit. It's not like before, you see, uh, like, <clears throat> you're not happy about your meditating, but you still contemplate. That's the feeling, you, the feeling is the change. It's the feeling changing is meant your insight knowledge that increase. As your insight knowledge get higher, you will see the object, the nature of your meditation object is the different, a step by step. But you should not be disappointed. Oh, why I feel like that? Just don't be disappointed. This is the nature of this state of knowledge. Oh, this is a sign of progress of insight. When you practice meditation in retreat for a month or a few months, uh, please remember one thing, you know, just today you try the best you can. Even you try the best you can, you practice the whole day long. You feel, oh, today my contemplation is not good. But you still noting them all the time. But notice that tomorrow different. If today is not good, the holy long not good, tomorrow you will gain uh, another higher insight knowledge. See, before you go one step uh, for one day, you not feel that it's good contemplation for you. But the next day, you overcome that, you get higher stage. And if you practice just uh, one week, maybe you're not uh, experienced it. But if you practice one month or two months, three months, something, you will see that. That's why you should not be disappointed about that. This is the nature of the insight knowledge. Because before we start, go to another step, you will have feeling that it's not your con contemplation is not good, but really it's not. Uh, this means you reach to the knowledge of fearfulness. As you see, mind and matter are dissolving incessantly. So you see, just disappearing, disappearing, disappearing all the time. What you do, even you, you place walking meditation, for the beginning, you see, uh, what is it? Lifting. You see, it's in the beginning, and at the end, uh, pushing, and it's in the beginning to the end, and dropping. But this stage, you cannot see it's all, because your insight is so sharp at a time. It's become right hand, you see, lifting. You see a disappearing of object. Pushing, you just see the end, dropping, and see the end, just disappearing only. So you feel this object is uh, fearful. This, this, uh, the knowledge of fearful. What number? Fearfulness, right? Number six. Number six. So go great by gates. Now you reach to the sixth grade. Yeah. 
again, <clears throat> while you are, con you are contemplating, you will find thought on this body and mind that they are impermanent, unsatisfactory, and uncontrollable. You will see that. When, when you see their characteristics, you will feel it is not good to have been born in any existence. You don't want to be reborn again. Now you, when, you don't want to be reborn or as human being or as angel. We don't want anything because you see their characteristics all the time. And you will feel it, it's the, but it's not a desirable <clears throat> and decay, disease, death, and so on are dreadful. Or oh, if you had to be reborn again, you, you will experience these three characteristics. So you feel as uh, dreadful. And this knowledge caused the knowledge of faultiness. The knowledge of faultiness. The seven inside knowledge. Yeah. By contemplating on the arising and disappearing of mind and matter, you will, you will get sick of them. This, uh, you might see the decaying and decomposing of your own body. And when you practice meditation, sometimes even you feel your body is uh, can decay or de decompose, decomposing. There's different parts. You know, even sensation or vibration in your whole body. That's why you get sick of this uh, object, this body. Then your contemplation is associated with disgusting and become become lazy to notice. So you don't want to make a mental note like before. You don't want to contemplate on it because you guess it on this uh, or your object. And sometimes you become lazy to notice them. And however, still continues noticing. In your mind, you have feeling you don't want to contemplate on But you still do it. You still contemplate on It's not mean, oh, I'm lazy, I don't want to do that. I go to sleep, I go to rest. It's not like that, you know. You still contemplate on it. But you can sit on them. It is similar to the person who walk on the dirty road. You know, some countryside. No. There's a person who walks on the dirty road, even he feels disgusted every step. It's so dirty. He cannot stop going, but still has to go through it to pass this point. At this stage of knowledge is called Knowledge of disgusting. Knowledge of disgusting. And by continuing practice, the desires to liberate from physical and mental processes arises. You want to free from this mind and matter. Oh, I don't want it anymore. So you yeah, have feeling like that. And you do not want to be reborn again. And want to escape from the process of mind and matter. See, since we was young, I didn't know just mind and body process keep going, arising and disappearing. Now, 